Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about open source. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, can you please advise on any open source projects with serious front-end implementations in React or Vue so that I can learn from their code and try to contribute while learning the front-end technologies? Well, I'm going to have to tell you that uh, I can give you like just off at the top of my head I can give you two projects right now which would fall into the category of what you're asking for uh, an example would be one of my favorite tools is Grafana which is a visualization tool for data which is it's re it's an open source project that you can go and work on uh, I think it's React that they're using and Prometheus which is a uh, time series database that's also really popular uh, is also using React as far as I know. There are others as well. Uh, the thing though that I th feel like I have to explain is that when, and this this might sound a little bit weird to somebody who's not like already in the business and already working, but most companies that you will find yourself working for with projects that are get understand me correctly when I say normal aren't open source projects now when I say normal I does it doesn't mean that Grafana or like Prometheus or any other project like the, the, these are not normal projects it's just that uh, the vast majority of you when you work as a web developer are going you're going to work on systems or projects that are going to either be a lot messier or much uh, I'm not gonna say bigger because that's not really accurate but the, the way that an open source project, a project is usually structured is not as a traditional web application. Usually the things that you find on GitHub and so forth, in many cases, these are sort of specialized tools, if that makes sense. Uh, it's very common that you will find open source projects that are like libraries or tools that we ourselves, like we developers use in order to help our like to do something and so forth. So I mean a thing such as Grafana is it's, it's very close to quote unquote just being a website but it's a much more advanced project than the average company is going to be building in terms of uh, in, in some areas at the very least. I, th there are so many other factors that might play in here so I'm not saying that you shouldn't look at these projects I just want you to understand that uh, if you want a truly good representation of the sort of work that you might be doing, or at least most of you are going to do, when you go in and start working as a professional, a open source product is usually not the way to go. And that sucks a little bit because it's, and I really can only apologize and say that I don't know of any, like you might be able to find it, but I don't really know of any Corpor corporations or any uh, startup projects where like they just have their entire business logic and like their the entire business system uh, or e-commerce platform in an open source project most companies are keeping that code secret for well for for reasons right and so if you if you're looking to find a product that really reflects like a standard application that most companies uh, like this sort of stuff that most of us are doing in our daily job it's really hard to find that in an open source project but I mean the two like Grafana and Prometheus and so forth they're still using a web server they still have a graphical interface so I mean you're still going to be able to learn from that part at the very least but don't be surprised if you feel a little bit overwhelmed because in many cases as I said even if it's not these projects, a lot of open source projects are a bit more specialized or more advanced. And it, if you get really good at one of these projects, it doesn't necessarily mean that when you then go and work for another company or some, com uh, some company uh, somewhere else, that, uh, y that it's going to feel like home. It might, f you, it might actually feel quite different because the, as I said, generally a private corporations and like their code base and the way that the projects that they are working on is usually like an e-commerce platform or something like that whereas 
Grafana and Prometheus and so forth are specialized tools like databases and visualization tools. So just keep that with you, but still look into it if you want to learn. So what I want you to take away from this is that unfortunately it's really hard for me to recommend an open source project where you can go and learn from good code examples on how to learn things about React or Vue or so forth because it's very rare that you find a open source project where the, where that open source project is a very good reflection of the standard sort of work that you're going to do if well at the very least most of you are going to do now you can of course still learn if you go to Grafana or Prometheus or any of the other projects that you might find out there which are using uh, these technologies that like they are products so so you can still learn front end development or back end development or whatever right from it you but you should just be aware of is that if you're looking for a project where you get the best representation of how real actual work is going to look for you when you get into a company open source might be a tricky place to find that and that of course leaves the question okay where can I find that Frederick and I go I'm very sorry I'm not the person who can answer that question uh, if you look around you might be able to find some company who is actually running a e-commerce business or something similar that actually has all of their pub all their code um, public and you can look into that but if you're fine with that it's not a perfect representation of the sort of work that you're going to do when you go out into the industry then it's fine just go and have a look there's tons of stuff to be learned have a great day